Wow, my hair smells really good. It's like distracting me. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and we are getting get ready. Wait, what? Okay. That was supposed to be a smooth intro. We're getting ready with me, guys. That was, that was really sad. So today you're gonna see, I don't think you're gonna really see any like new products to speak of, um, mainly because when I have to do a get ready with me, uh, like today, I have meetings and whatnot, so I have to be like, like situated for the day like I don't have I don't have room for this to go bad so where's my primer we're gonna go in with the Milani Prime and Correct um, and we're probably gonna set that down I might not like if I don't tell you every single thing I used sorry um, in my get ready with me is I tend to get like a little you know excited and I forget yes primer water no I can treat you better than he can Cause anyone like you deserves a gentle Wasting time with all your wasting time Instead, I know I can treat you better Better than he can You ever get a song stuck in your head? You're just like, I have to play this song Which, you know, lucky for you guys, I mean, that equals a, um, a concert Just for you I'm, I'm feeling it. So what is going on? What is new all up in this? Uh huh. In this game we call life. I'm gonna get all kind of rapper theological over here. Um, what is new? My god, I don't know. Okay, stipple, yes. We're covering this stuff up with a little stipple action. Get it, girl? Yes, cover that redness. Ooh, okay, so <clears throat> why am I so far away? Don't get me wrong, I don't need to be like all up in your business, but like I need to be closer than all the way across the room. So I was thinking the other day um, about a weird, weird question, and, and I think I, sh I think it was the Rihanna thing, like if I'm being honest, I think that's what made me think about it, because I was really like impressed and happy with the fact that she didn't just like put her name on something that she didn't like, you know, like she didn't just go like, oh yeah, that'll work, slap my name on it, call it a day. Like she really did work to create those things, and I was like, if I ever get to the point which we all know I will, go on now, um, where I would want to collab with a cosmetic brand, who would it be, right? And I was thinking like, okay, well, what is important to me? A, quality is important to me. So that's huge. Um, it has to be a well-known brand. Um, now, just from the start, like before I factor in prices or anything, that would mean um, Natasha Denona, because, <laughs> you know, I know that they partner with so many people, not. Um, and because they're like a super high price point. But then I was like, well, my other thing I would want is I would want an, I would want it to be like for sure. I would want to do a collab that was drugstore, like 100 percent. I would want to do something that's affordable because that's obviously something that I'm super passionate about, given as like where I live, people like. They're all about that $1.99, you know what I'm saying? Like, Northern Michigan is the place for that. The the locals, the, the people, we call them fudgies, but the people that come here to, like, visit, aka, you call them tourists in most other places, we call them fudgies. And we call them fudgies, by the way, because Northern Michigan is, like, known for and famous for it's uh, fudge. <laughs> this is gonna sound really stupid. And keep in mind, this isn't just like I made this up. Like, this is a thing. If you are from northern Michigan, you are a local, you call people either fudgies or cone lickers. <laughs> okay. and, and, just be, and I'm being real. Like, if you came to northern Michigan, that's what you'd be called. Because, A, they come here for the fudge. Like, and we have the best fudge in the entire world. Northern Michigan. It's like the pinnacle of the fudge. Mackinac Island, Charlevoix. Like, we have the fudge hookups, okay? So, A, they're called fudgies because they come for the fudge. We're super creative. Or they're called cone lickers. And the, <laughs> and the reason they're called cone lickers is because they, in the places that they sell fudge up here, um, like Alpine or Kilwins or Murdoch's, like a lot of those, I don't think Murdoch's does. I might have just lied. But a lot of those places also sell ice cream. So the people that you go in there for fudge and you leave with a scoop of ice cream on an ice cream cone and then you walk like the slowest little robot human across the damn road while everyone is trying to turn and actually like drive through this horrible traffic that they cause because they don't know how to drive in northern Michigan. Because northern Michigan it's not like driving everywhere else. Northern Michigan has its own set of rules. And uh, there, its own set of like lack of signs, perhaps. And Northern Michigan is just its own place. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. 
But the reality is that these fudgies come, and these cone lickers come, and they walk slowly across the road, and you'll be sitting at a stoplight, or stop sign for that matter, for half hour. Because um, they go really, really slow. So that's what they're called. But anyways, I don't know how I just got sidetracked onto that tangent. Oh, cheap makeup. So those are the only people, the fudgies and whatnot, that really typically go for like the expensive side of life. There are some locals, like myself, obviously. I buy a ton of makeup and I love makeup. Um, but a, a lot of like the local locals, like the farmers, I'm, it's a very farming area, a very farming area. That sounds good. Um, so it's a lot of, you know, more affordable stuff, which is fine. Obviously, I'm all about that. So I was like, well, I would want to partner or do something with someone that was like true to me and my brand. Where's my setting powder? Hey Paige, maybe you should get up close to this mirror. And like, I don't know, actually blend it into your nose. Crazy idea. I literally don't bake because I don't like how it makes me look, but like, why not? Remember Steve Urkel from Family Matters and he'd be like, shh, not while I'm boring. <laughs> shh, not while I'm baking. Looking good. Get the hair away from that. I'm gonna wear so much of this. Oh yeah, so back to my collab. Wow, this whole video is gonna be me trying to get through one thought, um, which, you guys know me, like that's okay, especially when I look this cute. <laughs> so, what was I, what was I gonna, what do I have to do next on my face? Oh shoot, I have to do brows, hold on, I gotta wipe this part off. What am I doing? Paige, you can't do brows when you still have powder over top of them, that's not an option. Cause I'm a horrible slob and I get it all up in my brows. Okay, <laughs> that part is not going to be baking today, honey, not today. Who am I kidding, I can't talk while I do my brows, hold on just a second. Whew, I got those on. You guys, we officially like reached the point while I was doing them where I'm just like, <sighs> like, okay, we need to stop and gain some perspective and quit screwing with them because they're only going to keep getting worse. So yeah, they're crooked as usual. I get it. Um, next we're going to go in with the just, Pe no, we're going to go in with the carroty just peachy palette because that's what I said I would go in with in my next get ready with me. I know Michelle, you're probably sitting there going, <laughs> Michelle's probably like, girl, you better grab that palette because yeah. I remembered. Um, okay, so back to my question. Where's my the primer? That's my question. Um, if I had to choose someone to collab with, Paige, stop and focus. Um, oh God, I think on the drugstore side, I would probably choose L'Oreal or Maybelline. Um, in that order, I really I love L'Oreal. I love a ton of their stuff. Obviously, the Pro Matte is awesome. Um, their liquid lipsticks like I just I love some of their stuff and I think that they are such a great affordable like drugstore brand um, and Maybelline too I like them I don't like them as much as L'Oreal but it's mainly just because like I've got a sweet spot for L'Oreal um, beyond that I would say um, definitely a hundred percent I would collab with Carity oh my god I love Carity um, I would collab with them, but I don't think they're an independent, so I don't know if they do that so much yet. Um, and I know that they're just like growing their business too. Does my voice sound really deep to you? I feel like I'm talking like this. It's probably because I'm so tired. I literally didn't sleep. Like my eyes right now, it's a struggle to keep them open because they feel like they're just like swelling shut, which is normal for me. All right, who on like the more expensive Smashbox? I would totally collab with Smashbox. I love like their primerizer. I love their photo finish setting spray. I love uh, some of their shadows. Their um, highlights are super pretty. Um, I would definitely collab with Smashbox. Estee Lauder. Oh my God. I would 100% in a heartbeat. I love Estee Lauder. Um, who else would I collab with? Because, see, I can't even say that I would collab with, like, just anybody. Um, and I don't even know, like, I love Urban Decay, but I don't know if I would want to collab with someone like that. Um, I think part of it, too, is, like, why am I collabing with them? Like, what for what product? You know, if it's, like, a highlight or something like that, um, I would definitely want, like, probably, yeah, Smashbox would be good. Um... Becca, obviously, they're, like, notorious for their highlights. Um, but I'm not really a big fan of the rest of their products, so I don't know if I would want to collab with them. Um, if it was for eyeshadows, again, like, Natasha Denona is, like, amazing. Um, who else am I loving? I do, I like Tarte. Like, they've got, they've got some stellar eyeshadows. I like a lot of the stuff from Tarte. Yeah, so probably Tarte. Um... I think that's about it though. Like there's not a ton of people that I would be like for cosmetics that I'd be willing to collab with. I mean, I don't want to say not willing. That sounds bad. And like, you know, too, a lot of stuff could change between now and the time that I'm wildly successful. 
See, I'm just going to say it like it's going to happen, and then it will happen. But I think for me, a large part of, like, whatever I do has to be centered around, like, who I am, my aesthetic, and the product would have to be good. Whether it's drugstore or not, like, it has to be a good product, or I'm just really not interested. So that's my answer to that. What else was there? What else do we want to talk about? So let me ask you guys a question, and I guess you can answer in the comments. That's probably the best way to go about this. What is it that you guys look for, like, in a YouTuber? Like, what is it that you're drawn to? Is it, like, personality? Is it products? Is it the way that they deliver, like, you know, how uh, excited they are about stuff? Um, and, and have you ever had a YouTuber that, like, breaks one of your rules, but that you still enjoy watching? For example, there's a girl that I've been watching... Um, lately, her name, her, her channel is like Th Fat Layla or Thalayla, I don't know. She's got like a ton of acne, and I actually ended up finding her for her 15, she does uh, 15 days of foundation, and I was like, girl, on my channel, it's always 15 days of foundation. <laughs> but it's basically where she tries out a new channel, or a new channel, a new foundation every day for 15 days. And I was like, well, I really, you know, that's a cute idea, um, but again, I do that Anyway, so it's not something like I would ever steal, but as I was thinking about it, I'm like, you know, I don't really, like, love her personality, like, as far as how she talks, she talks very like this, and it's very monotone, and she doesn't have a lot of inflection, and that's, it's just very, like, almost like, kind of, but that's just how she talks, like, she's not trying to be anybody, that's just who she is, and at first I was like, wow, I could never watch this, and I actually clicked off of her video, because I'm like, I, I can't have this person out, like, I need someone like me that talks, and, you know, uses her eyebrows, and, like, laughs, and, you know, makes jokes, like, that's what I need, I need someone that's, like, charismatic, and then I actually ended up, like, going back to her channel, because it popped up on my feed again, and I was looking at it, and I'm just like, you know what? She carries, like, such an interesting, like, almost perspective, if you will, about her and just, like, how she reviews things and what she does that I have been watching a couple of her videos. Don't get me wrong. I don't, like, subscribe and, like, watch them all. But I do watch quite a few. And I try to, like, overlook that part of her. And by that part of her, I mean, like, you know, that one attribute that I can't really stand. I overlook it anyways because I was drawn to something else in her channel. So, yeah, I feel like I've got, you know, people like that, and it's pretty rare for me to be able to, like, overlook personality because I feel like that's, like, what drives the channel. And so what is it, like, is it, what is it for you guys that, like, you have, a channel has to have to subscribe? Like, is it someone's personality, the products that they review, how they review them, the fact that I, like, do close-ups or wear tests or, you know, what is it with you guys? Like, what is it that you look for in a YouTuber? Because I'm always so curious about that kind of thing, like... And it's so different for every single person that you can't, like, assume that it's this or this or this. That's why I think that when people go into YouTube and, like, starting their own channel, I think it's so important that, like, you go into it and you literally just be exactly who you are and not try to, like, be someone that the, the people watching would want you to be. Because that literally won't get you anywhere. Like, it just it just doesn't get you places. And I was thinking the other day about, like, you know, trending and like, oh, gotta make it, gotta do this, gotta do that. And I was like, you know what? No, you don't. Like, the reality is that if I never trend and if I never go big and if I never really matter on YouTube and if I never really matter in the beauty, you, wow, in the beauty community on YouTube, the reality is that like, I always mattered because I made a difference to people. And I think that if people would start going on here and like, on to YouTube or even pursuing whatever it is that they're pursuing and they started to do it for the right reasons again I honestly think it would make such a huge difference in the kind of content that you would see because there are people that literally they just make like complete evil videos like in my opinion they're just straight up evil um, videos about like people and, and how oh you can tell that this person doesn't like this person or just like gossip and all this stuff and I'm like can you imagine, like, what if you actually put, like, your spidey senses to good use over there and, you know, actually did something that built up people instead of treating them like they were assholes or whatever? Because, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say, like, oh, poor multi-million subscriber YouTubers, you know, oh, poor you. I can't believe people are mean to you. I'm not going to say that because um, I definitely think that it comes with the territory. Whether you have 300 and some subscribers or 3 million subscribers, it comes with the territory. Um, people being rude to you and whatnot. And, like, I fully, I know that going into it, lucky for me, I've been made fun of my whole life, so, like, it didn't matter. But I feel like 
what if instead of you know focusing all your energy on tearing down these people and like these multi-million you know, subscriber YouTube people why first of all like what do you gain other than oh you make money because you know people watch your videos but that's stupid to me and then like and I get it like you make in coin I understand I can even understand like putting together something funny someone put together the video of Manny MUA like repeating everything Jeffree Star says for five minutes okay that was funny like I'll give them that but like there's these other ones that are literally all just about like drama and like oh um what's her what's her name Jaclyn Hill and like how you know so and so dropped her because she started ignoring their collab and and no one wants to work with them blah 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 and I'm like does that really pertain to anybody like does that have anything to do with me if that happened D does that involve me in any way should I care if her deal with you know Morphe or some other company if it went downhill obviously it didn't her palette was widely successful but like you know what I'm saying like does that pertain to me in any way no so like why do people care so much and I came to the conclusion that people are driven by like this crazy notion that everything is their business like it's your business if some somebody does something crooked or it's your bit no it's not like re reality is that no it's not your business like in the sense of you know you can choose to or not to support someone sure okay that I can understand but at the end of the day like not wanting to follow or watch someone because of you know how they acted in in a meeting or who they voted for or what they believe it's just to me that whole thing is just so stupid and then there are channels that are literally dedicated to that and it drives me absolutely insane so if this was a real get ready with me I would totally be making you guys listen to Dave Ramsey right now I listen to him every morning except Tuesday mornings because on oh my god my nose is just like right on the very end uh, because on Tuesday mornings there is a new basement yard podcast with Joe Santagato and I'm obsessed and I can't wait for, um, what's it called, uh, Other People's Lives. Joe Santagato and his friend Greg Dybeck, they also do uh, Other People's Lives, which is where, like, they call people that have, like, weird fetishes or, or believe or think different things, and they call them and they, like, ask them about them, and they really try to, like, learn and understand their perspective, and it's just such a cool podcast. Um, and they're doing that one in season, so I can't wait for season two of that. What are podcasts? What podcast do you guys listen to? Comment me down below and tell me what you guys listen to. Because I'm definitely curious. Like, I love knowing what other people listen to. Even if I hate it, I'm always like, what do you listen to? Guys, I'm, I don't know what to talk about. I feel like I'm going to bore the shit out of you people. I need, I need you guys to comment. If you like Get Ready With Me, comment down below, ask me some questions, and let me know what it is you want me to talk about. Are there questions that you have? Are there topics that you'd like? The way that I do eyeshadow reminds me of Happy Gilmore. You know how he's got like the that one like the hockey stick that he uses and it's like not the right tool and everyone's like that's really stupid and da 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 and he always uses it for like most of what he does. That's how I am with a fluffy crease brush. Like I use it when I'm not supposed to and it, well A I don't care. And B I'm just like it works it works for me. Just like how his weird little hockey stick thing worked for him. Aw, crap. I was going to use some of these. You guys, I got my BoxyCharm yesterday. Check this out, okay? There was actually some good stuff in here. It had the Bare Minerals, their perfect face like blending brush, the one with the little circle in the middle. It had the uh, the MAC eyebrow pencil that I wanted to try. A ColourPop satin lip. It doesn't really go with my eye today, but okay. And it had a liquid... Oh, or a, a, I can use the blush still. And this, oh my gosh, it had the Briagio Don't Repair... Don't Despair Repair uh, Mask for your hair. I use this almost every time I take a shower. I love this stuff. And then it came with this really, like, big, happy, neutral palette. Sit down. It's by Pure. It's the Soiree Diaries. And take this plastic off. Okay, literally, they're never taped. Why is this taped on here? Whatever. But you can kind of see. It's, like, got a row. These four right here are, like, all shimmery. And then it's got two rows of just, like, brown and tan, like, uh, matte shadows and I looked at it and at first I was kind of like eh, like that's not no because it's just very plain and then I was like you know what though that's a really good basic palette like if you're traveling and you don't think you're gonna want to excuse me ooh, you don't want to you don't think you're gonna want to do a ton of makeup or whatever that's like a good route to go because you could take it you got it in a boxy charm so like if something happened to it you wouldn't have to like cry over it but I was pretty impressed with that let's get this shit off my face I just flicked that all into my brown hair nice page good job and we're just going to use what's left. Set the stamp face. You guys, I had a great dream the other night. Um, so Jeffree Star 
uh, he his boyfriend's family was from northern lower Michigan, um, like down in the Grand Rapids area. So uh, Jeffrey Star recently bought a house down there, and I had a dream that Jeffrey Star he found me on YouTube, and he's like, "Oh, this girl from Northern Michigan," and he called me up and he was like, "Hey, honey, do you want to do a collab?" And I was or like, you know, do a video together. And I was like, "Yes, oh my god!" And I went down and I like hung out with him and we filmed together. And it was a freaking blast. And yeah, it was a really good dream. So like Jeffree Star, if you're out there, I would totally. Like, and what's, I don't know what it is about him and like his personality, but I feel like he and I would be such good friends. Like just the way that he talks, I'm like, literally, you are one of me. It's ridiculous. And I know that on YouTube, like, it's it's easy to believe, like, just because this is all you see of someone, you know, you only see the... So anywhere between 8 and 40 minute video that they give you, you know, and that's really the only part of them that you get to see and know. And it's so easy to be like, oh my god, like, we would be best friends or whatever. And, and like, think that you know them and their personality. And I feel like I don't want to be one of those people that's like, oh my god, we would be such good buddies. But then at the same time, I'm like, we legit, like, he says that it's, it's, it's weird how, like, much him and I are the same. I just highlighted the bejesus out of my bone. Whoops, my cheekbone. See, that's why you don't talk when you highlight, Paige, because, good lord. But I mean, while you're at it. <laughs> oh, girl, almost forgot to be snatching up them eyebrows in that inner eye highlight. We cannot have that, honey. No, no. Um, so is anyone else surprised that the uh, Lila or Lila, whatever that palette is, from Natasha Denona, the purple one, is anyone else, like, really shocked that it's still available? Because I about had a heart attack. I thought for sure, I saw, like, set an alarm on my phone to get up at, like, the ass crack of dawn to make sure that I got that palette. And I, could, I couldn't believe it. I was looking today, and it was still available, like, this morning. And I was like, what? The, literally, her palette's, like... They always sell out within like a second. How is that possible? Is it because it's purple and not like the the sunset palette that had like all those insanely beautiful, you know, browns and oranges in it? Like maybe that's just like the fad people want. I love purple shadows. You guys have seen my dose of colors when I do that dark, smoky purple eye. Oh my god. It's like a magical moment. I feel like purple shadows, people are always just like, oh, they're too intense. I can't pull them off. But really, honestly, they can be done so stinking tastefully and so beautifully that like you can use them even without lashes. Um, I love when I do like a dark intense uh, purple smoke. It's my favorite to wear it with lashes because I think that that just like sets it the hell off. Oh yes. I kind of love it when I get like highlight on my lips and it makes me feel like a like a Egyptian goddess. I'm just like oh yeah. Because I'm really upset. My little piece of like packing foam that I always use to dry my face it like went missing and I can't find it and literally nothing is the same is anybody else like okay you set your face and as it's drying you feel like you didn't get one spot so you're like oh no pff, pff. yeah hope I'm not the only weirdo that does that wouldn't want to be strange I feel like so much of my channel is just an excuse to ask people like so anybody else do that anybody else have that problem because I literally like I'm convinced that for so many things I'm like I'm the only I think I just broke a rung off my chair. Whoops. But seriously, I'm like, I mean, I'm just like, screw it, whatever. But there are so many things I do that I'm just like, I have to be the only one that does that. Like, I set my face before I do eyeliner and mascara because otherwise it runs down my face and I have like that nah, moment. And I don't think that that's a good look. So I set my face first. Am I the only one? I don't know. So I like hoard my points, like we know this, Alta, Sephora, I hoard my points. And I actually traded in a hundred of them to get this tattoo liner from Kat Von D so I could try it out. And I don't hate it, like it's not the worst liner. It does bleed a little bit like on the inner, oh not a little bit, just bled a lot. Great. Definitely a good look, okay. But see I can never tell, is that the liner or is it my face? Cause like that, it could go either way. <laughs> Is it wrong that part of me wants to try like these super duper intense eyelashes? They're from Pure and they're like, they're the ones that I just got in BoxyCharm like a month ago. They are the uh, Pro Eyelashes 3D Cruelty Free Luxe Lashes. Okay guys, I went ahead and I tried to put these damn lashes on and I tried and I tried and I failed and I failed. So what you're seeing is just my regular plain old face without lashes, which is a bummer because I really had my heart set on lashes. So just to recap, oh and by the way, on my lips I am wearing um, the Pure Love Lipstick in the shade 466... 
Yep. The shade 460 Ripped Raisin in that uh, the Estee Lauder. You guys know I've been loving these. Again, they were like day one or two of the Estee or of the of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, and I picked up like a bunch of them because they were only $11, and I was like, oh my god, drugstore pricing on Estee Lauder. Sign me up. So I bought a bunch, and this is one of them, and I kind of love it, and it looks good with this with this eye. I was like, I wasn't sure because I don't typically like to go like pink toned mouth with like orange toned eyes, but for some reason they're pulling with each other and I'm, I'm digging it. Then later today I'm probably going to switch over and put some of that, uh, that Fenty lip gloss on. I'm loving that. So yeah. Guys, we came, we saw, we got ready. I broke my chair. I dropped everything on the floor. Um, I have screwed up my eyes multiple times. They started by looking good. Now I'm pretty sure they just look a hot mess. So we're going to keep you at a safe distance because I think that uh, right now I'm not looking so good. So um, hopefully this holds through my meeting and uh, my all the stuff and all the errands I have to do today. My hair looks psychotic. And you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you guys for being awesome. Again, let me know. Oh my God, my nose. Hold on, I got itch. Okay, sorry about that. My nose was like itching. But again, let me know, you guys, what is it you want me to talk about and get ready with me? Is there stuff that you want to know? Let's like conversate. Nothing new really happens in my life. So I need you guys to like, what is it you want to know? What is it that we want to talk about here on this channel and get ready with me? What do you want to see here, guys? Come on, come on. Give me some, give me something. Give me something. Because I can carry this conversation, but it's all going to be useless psychobabble about nothing. And I think that you guys might actually want to like know or learn something or ask me questions. So ask me some questions and we'll go that route. You guys, if you have any comments for the next Get Ready With Me, comment them down below in this one. And when I go to do that one, I will read through them and we will use this as like a good starting point because I think that that's the best way to do it. Otherwise, I'm going to lose the questions. So you guys, I think at the end of the day here, all we really have to say is that I hope you have a great day, night, weekend, whatever. And I'm going to get scooting because I'm really late after trying to screw around with them lashes. They literally ripped off like all the liner all the like everything against my lash line it was a it was a nightmare um it's taken me like since my last clip it's been about a half hour like it's it was that much of a hot mess and i only did try to do the one eye so <laughs> i figured if we screwed up this one we should probably just leave this one and not totally screw it up and then my eyeliner bled and then i went to hell in a hand basket carried by the devil himself so I am going to get going, you guys. I hope you have a great, again, day, night, weekend, whatever. Comment, like, subscribe, share the video. Let's let's chat. Let's talk. Let's hang out. And I love talking with you guys. I love hanging out with you guys. Do we want to see these more often? Let me know. Um, I'm never sure if you guys want Get Ready With Me's because some people are like, yeah, I love them. And then other people are just like crickets, like, mark, mark, mark. so I never know. So tell me. Flood it. Let me know what you think, you guys. Come on. I love this stuff. Okay. I'm going to get going for real this time. And I will talk to you guys all later. Bye. I hope you enjoyed the peach palette. <laughs> and getting ready with me, of course. <laughs> so wonderful. <laughs> no.